In this problem, we have a function of two variables, and we're going to compute the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So to do this, we're going to use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says, if you're taking the derivative of a quotient, so f over g prime, think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. And it's all over the bottom one um, squared. So here, when we take the partial of f with respect to y, keep in mind that all of the other variables are constants. So in particular, x is a constant, so its derivative is 0. So when we take the derivative of the top, we'll just get negative 1. That's the derivative of, of y, of negative y, times the bottom. So x plus y minus the top. So x minus y times the derivative of the bottom. So again, the derivative of x is 0 because it's a constant, and then the derivative of y is 1. That's all over the bottom one um, squared, so x plus y squared. Okay, this is equal to, let's see, um, negative x, and the negative x is going to give us negative 2x, and then negative y and a positive y, well, those will, will simply cancel. Then on the bottom, we have x plus y, and that's squared. So this is equal to negative 2x over, and then we have x plus y squared. And that would be the partial derivative of f with respect to y.